uncensored footage coming your way. Melody just put all murder. I just killed a crab. I didn't actually realise I killed it, to be honest. I, I, said, I kind of warned that it would die. <laughs> Why did it look like that? Oh, the poor thing. We do not recommend stealing crabs' homes for souvenirs. This is a very hungry melody. Yeah. She's traumatised by the Cheerios that we usually have breakfast because there were ants infesting the cereal box. My food last night, I'm saving for today or later that night. Was infested by ants, as you know. Um, no food left in the fridge. And it's only 10 a.m. Been up for three hours. That's why she's texted Julie to tell her to hurry up the yeah, cheesecake. Hurry the cheesecake. And now for something completely different. Hello, everybody. Welcome. As you can see, the bed's completely stripped because it's she only had a little accident last night. No, I'm a responsible person. I want to make sure that they have a bit of an easy time clearing up everything. Our mess. Come on, we're so excited. Basically, she only got her ancestry report, and I don't think she's seen mine, even though I put it on my story ages ago. She just wanted us to compare. Yeah. Mine is from ancestry. Hers is from 23andMe. I will say that mine was way less comprehensive, and I would not recommend ancestry unless you're looking for finding family members. I would go with 23 and me because I think from the reports I've seen it's way more comprehensive and detailed and just way more interesting. Yeah. Right. <gasps> I'm so excited to find out what you are. It's gonna be so Come on! Hard. Seriously. One. My bet is that she has Turkish in her. Uh, Japanese, I'm gonna say Samoan. Is it Samoan? Samoan? And English and Scottish. There are two options. Yes. Either we start with ancestry or start with traits. Ancestry. It is the most boring result. No, it's not. Tell me what it is. Look. The pie chart <laughs> is literally half. <laughs> Wait, okay. Then there must be something else. I'm not surprised at all. I am 50-50, literally. She's Korean! The Koreans oh and Japanese, God. they have integrated over the <laughs> centuries. That's, that's just a fact. That's, North that's Korean! A... Oh! She's North Korean! I don't know why she finds that so funny. It's it's obvious, like, every Japanese person is related to Koreans because they were, they were migrating. She's North Korean! No, it's not specifically North Korean, it's Korea. What's Trace Ancestry? That's North Point. One percent of something that we don't know. Something we don't know. Neanderthal. I signed up to Ancestry to do family tree, and I've traced quite far back with my dad's side of the family. They are so boring. They are the most boring <laughs> ancestors you could possibly have because they all stay in the same area. They come from really? Northumbria. They come from Lincolnshire. Sorry, why did you choose the boring English? Come on, make it spicy. Percentage go. Northwestern European, 50%. British Irish, 40.5%. 9.5% French and German. <gasps> what about? Well, what you Indigenous want? American? No, I think that's in, in the same category. So I'm not. No, there's no way I'm Indigenous American, but I'm certainly Japanese. Jeez, it's just so obvious. <laughs> You see, the people of Japan and the Korean Peninsula share a genetic heritage that dates back to the first arrival of the Stone Age hunter-gatherers. Guys, Shiona is North Korean. For fuck's sake, it's not North Korea. It's just Korea in general. My best pal's North Koreans, Korean. Koreans, they migrated to Japan and then they decided to stay there. That's why they look so fucking similar okay, go, to each other. Okay, go on like your traits. All right, now traits. That's more interesting. 58% chance you do not have dimples. Do I have dimples? No. no. I want to see the weird bits. Go up. Ability to match musical pitch. Less likely. Well, so basically I can't sing. Yeah. That's pretty obvious. My sister's the more the mm. singer type. Less likely to have a bunion. Fear of heights. More likely than average to be afraid of heights. Oh, okay, wait. Wake up time. Likely to wake up around 8.58 a.m. Wow, that's so specific. That is not far. Yeah. I don't wake up super early, like 7 a.m., but at the same time, I don't like to sleep in till 10 a.m. I just feel, ugh. Yeah, that sounds like a good time, nearly 9 a.m. 
Motion sickness, more likely to experience motion sickness. Absolutely, I get motion sickness all the time. Cars, mostly. Buses, yes. Mosquito bite frequency, likely bitten more than others. Okay, that's interesting. I don't get as bitten as much as my brother though. My brother's um, a fly he's trap. juicy. Yeah, he's very juicy. <laughs> Ice cream flavour preference. More likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla ice cream. Absolutely correct. Vanilla, I find it so boring. I prefer vanilla. Sweet versus salty. Likely prefers salty. That's interesting. I'm going to agree with that for you. I think you do prefer salty. It's not like I always get crisps though. I would rather get chocolate bar than crisps. Mm. I feel like you would always gravitate more towards salty food when you go out. Like you always want to have something savoury first. You had 2% of a chance of blue eyes and you yeah. missed that. I know. 43% chance of slightly wavy hair. They got that right. 1% chance you have red hair. Well, that's basically no. Do you want to know mine? Sure. Mine, as I said, was with ancestry, it was not that comprehensive, so I didn't get to see all the fun stuff. So, guess. They had like Persia. I'm just gonna say it. That was a terrible guess. That was the most obvious guess. Yeah, I know, but okay, what okay. Do you me to guess? We're doing it. West Asian, 46%. So that's... so that's Iran leading up to Russia. Okay. Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, 23.9% my dad's side. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where these ones come from. Italian, 14%. Oh. Baltic, 7.2%. Scandinavian, 5%. Greek and South Italian, 4%. So I'm almost 20% Italian. Interesting. Do you think it's from your dad or mum's side? I don't know, honestly. That is our ancestry results. I'm not surprised at all by my results. <laughs> On a scale of one to five, with five being excellent, I was going with Siobhan, Warner, uh, by and seeing the turtles, you know, Stingray City, you know, those sort of things. Near Shiona, this is what we're agreeing. We're thing with Julie on Monday. We give that 10 out of 10. We had a really good time. She's really, really lovely. Found out about her cheesecakes, which is great. And we're gonna get some now. And she showed us great food as well. And she was really patient with us. So we really appreciate that. I would recommend anyone that's coming here to do the tour with Julie first, because she pretty much covers everything and talks about a lot of stuff because every tour we did since then was just a repetition really. You know, Julie already said everything that we needed to hear. So the next thing we did was Stingray City and Island Safari. It was a combined tour. Island Safari was okay. The, our guide was great. Um, just we, we were familiar with most things already. It was a bit different because he showed us like some more like drug history of the island and he showed us a little bit of St. John's. Stingray City was amazing. I of course recommend that totally. Not necessary to go with the Island Safari, I think. With Siobhan, that was great. She only wrote it at nine. I rate that. Yeah, I give it a nine as well. I think Siobhan's tour is a lot more relaxed and not so much a historical tour, but really just a night. It's like a having a friend on the island to do something with. Like it's really uh, informal. The other thing we did was sailing. Honestly, that was really expensive and I don't think it was that worth it. Our day room was great, but there wasn't that much, to be honest. We forgot to tell Colin about the time we swam with piglets on the fourth episode. This was an interesting one because we found out about it from our taxi driver who took us to our accommodation on our first day. None of the locals ever heard about this excursion, so we didn't even think it was legit. But after Melody contacted their Instagram page, Pigs in Paradise 268, we managed to get booked in, and it was absolutely worth it. If you love cute piglets, we highly recommend it to you. Just make sure you contact the Instagram page for more information. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. <laughs> Oh, 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 I love to swim in Dory. When you want to swim, you want See, to See, I'm gonna get stuck on. now with that song, now it's in my head! Sorry. We trekked to Runaway Beach without trespassing this time to the restaurant for our final meal. 
How are you liking it? It's very bland to me, no? Parma ham already makes it salty. Honestly, I can't taste the thing. The amount of salty pudding is making my tongue dry. <laughs> it's okay, it's pretty greasy. How is it? I give it 7.5. It's just, I'm glad to see green again. Mm. I had so much fruit, and I'm glad to see some vegetables again. Mm. This almost tastes like what I would have at home. Mm. Oh, it's cold. I don't know what this is meant to be actually. It looks like a moose. Maybe relax, be relaxed. Raz, my tender oozing blossom, you're looking fabulous today. Is that a new haircut? Come on, tell me, it's a new haircut, isn't it? It's got to be a new haircut, new makeup. You've had a lift, you've had a tuck, you've had something. Something has been inserted in your skin that makes you look like... Listen, I need a favor. At around 7 p.m., we reached the airport. That was such a stress-free check-in. There I was, thinking I was gonna get shot for firstly springing a shell in that was actually a prohibited item. And then I also have cheesecake. Officially not allowed to bring food in. I don't even want it at all. Like I feel sick from sweets. That is very unlike you. It's a fondle, like mm. you know what I'm craving? Rice and yogurt and salt. Ah Farewell, Antigua. Arrive in London on a cloudy morning, as expected. Guys, we made it. We made it back. It wasn't a bad journey. Uh, it was only seven and a half hours on the way back. But unfortunately, it wasn't as comfortable as the way there because the flight was way more full. Uh, but yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. See you in the next.